Hello guys, today we are reviewing the Danets Yagi Turbo Tenna. It's a Wi Fi antenna with the USB dongle. And I had many problems connecting. I'm sharing the connection with some guys uh, two floors downstairs, and their apartment is more or less in that direction, just two floors downstairs. And I had many, many problems. The connection was always dropping and the speed was hilarious. I was downloading something like uh, eight, 10 kilobits, kilobytes per second, which is absolutely, absolutely stressing, was absolutely stressing. So that's why <coughs> I bought this antenna. And uh, I lost some hours. When I first had to, um, I had to uh, install the drivers and set up it a lot some hours for many reasons. One of the reasons is that they supply this antenna with uh, the disc that I cannot find now. Wait a second, sorry. Oh, here it is. With this disc. So it's a mini CD or mini DVD or uh, whatever. Problem is that. My laptop cannot read these motherfuckers. So I had to download the software and the driver is 37.5 megabyte to download from the Danes website with a really slow connection plus the server of Danes is something incredibly slow. So it took me ages. At some point I just decided to go downstairs to these guys and uh, just sit five meters from their router to, to actually download the drivers and the software. When that was done, I installed the drivers and the software. Here you can see the, the software. This software here. And actually, if I have to say the truth, you don't really need the software at all. If you just plug your uh, the, the USB of your antenna, Wait a second guys, I'm going to turn on another light. Um, when I first plugged in, wow, what a difference, the USB of the antenna, Windows 7 automatically downloaded some, uh, some drivers for it. And it was already working with the Windows uh, Wi-Fi wi -Fi selector software. Uh, difference is that having the software the, from Danets, you can really check the link quality and the signal strength, these two green bar on the software, which are really important. Plus, you can see the link speed and the throughput. So anyway, I lost, I lost really hours to find a proper setup for this antenna. The beginning, I tried to place it here, in this place here. Of course, since that was the, uh, the direction of, the, of this guy's apartment and there are two floors downstairs. I pointed the antenna in this direction. But it was working, but there, was, there were peaks in the, in, the, in the connection. So it was going really high and then really low and then really high and then really low. Right now I place it here because I found out that it's the most stable position at least for the moment then uh, when I will uh, I will have some uh, spare time I will look for a better position but here is working pretty well and uh, in this moment I have a link quality of 96% and a signal strength of 55 57 uh, dBm uh, the link speed is, fi is 54 uh, Mbps, so it's good. Let's go try with speedtest.net. Uh, okay, with the internal uh, Wi Fi uh, adapter on uh, speedtest, I was get, uh, on the Malmo Sweden server, I was getting around 0 0.2 in, uh, in download and 0 0.8 in uploads. Uh, totally, totally shit. Now we are going to test again with the Turbo Tenna on the same server, Malmo in Sweden. Seven 
MS in pink, wonderful. Download speed 4.6, 4.5, 4 4.2, 4.1, almost 4.0. Okay, let's say that an average is 4. In uploads, we have 5. In upload is 5. So the final result is 3.25 in download speed and 4, 5.004 in upload speed, which is an amazing uh, gain uh, from my previous 0 0.2 in download and 0 0.8 in uploads. We are going to test again because uh, there are always some oscillation in the quality of the connection, so let's see. 8 ms of pink, really good. Six is going down. It keeps going down. Okay, he says 4.04 .04 because of course speedtest.net always calculates the the lower one. But anyway, it's five. And five. 0.03 in upload. Let's test again. 8 ms. You see now it's 2, before it was 5, so you can really see that there is still some oscillation. So I really need to find a better spot for the antenna. But anyway, it's two floors below, so it's already a, a huge a huge gain. The upload is always stable, more or less, 5, 503, 509. Let's change server now, just to, te just to test. And let's go to a really fast server, London. Should be slower here, because since it's, uh, it's farther. You can already see that the ping is 54 ms now, it's normal. User disconnected from your channel. The upload 4.61. So those are good tests. It's a good test. Uh, I'm gonna run a far one, a more far one. I'm gonna run a test on the server of Rome. This should be way slower. 51 ms. It's really struggling to go up here. Yeah. 2.18 and the uploads is gonna be 2. Point something probably. Oh no, it's very fast. 4.78. So at this point I'm gonna run the last test. Going back to Denmark. That's the region where I am at the moment. Where is Denmark? Ah, here it is. Uh, Copenhagen or Malmo? Let's try Copenhagen, even if I remember that Copenhagen was a bit slow as server, but no. let's try. 7ms, slow my ass. It's not slow, it's, it's fucking fast. What the fuck is downloading the entire Microsoft database? I 
I will say that there is an average of 2.7. Now, those kind of speeds for you could sound really uh, slow connection. And of course, it's not the best thing ever. I mean, when, when I connect to the same router and I am 5 meters from the router, I get 18, uh, 18 19, because the, I think the connection is 24 uh, downstairs. Uh, from 18 to 2, 3, 4, 5, of course there is a huge difference, but keep in mind, I, I always keep in mind that their apartment is two floors downstairs and there are many walls between me and their router. So, and I don't really need the connection to do anything incredible like downloading gigabytes or stuff. I just check the emails off the web, watch YouTube and uh, play online and that's it. So that's the test result for the for the Turbo Tenna from uh, from Danets. Uh, what else can I say? It works. I try to point it in other directions all around and I got so many connections that I didn't even have before. So it's doing its job, it's working uh, properly. Uh, of course, it's a device that works better in uh, open area. So no walls between you and the router and the access point. But I mean, for me and for what I paid, 60 pounds or something like that, it's really more than enough. And uh, my connection is not dropping anymore. It never drops in hours. And it's not, I don't get uh, amazing speeds, but for what I do, it's more than enough. So I hope you enjoyed this review. And what can I say? Pass the test. See you guys.